Vitamins have a unique role to play in maintaining good health, from vitamin A for healthy eyes to vitamin C for our immune systems. Vitamins can help to keep us going strong, but with so many different vitamins on the market today, it can be difficult to tell which ones to take, which ones to avoid, and at what age we need them. Joining us today from Martha Jefferson HealthWise is Clinical Nutrition Supervisor David Stebbins to help us navigate the vitamin aisle here. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, well, first of all, why does the body need vitamins, and doesn't food provide us with most of the nutrients we need? Well, vitamins serve many purposes. They can function as hormones, antioxidants. They help with many cell functions and processes. Foods can supply all of the vitamins we need, but a lot of times we don't eat the proper diet in order to gain those. And so, um, which vitamins do you recommend as part of a healthy nutrition plan? Well, for a healthy adult, I might not recommend any if they have a varied diet, um, depending on where you are in the life cycle, you might need something. If you're a female and you're of childbearing age, we um, often recommend that you take a multivitamin that contains folic acid because uh, it can help with fetal development. And in those early stages, it might be the most important. And if you wait until you know you're pregnant, you might um, not be where you need to be. Uh, some of the other things might be uh, B vitamins for vegetarians because if they're not eating the right amounts of proteins or the right types of proteins, they may not get those B vitamins. And there's a lot of research now to suggest that almost everyone should be taking some sort of vitamin D supplement because we don't get enough, whether it be because we don't get outside or we're not uh, drinking milk that uh, has extra vitamin D in it or because we wear too much sunscreen. Okay, well, so what is the difference between you hear vitamins and then dietary supplements, and how do we know, you know, which are safe to take and when to take them? Sure. Uh, dietary supplement is more of a broad term. A lot of times what it, it, it might entail is uh, foods that contain vitamins in them instead of just a, uh, a regular vitamin supplement. It also can uh, be protein supplementations like a protein powder or even uh, a fiber supplement that you might add to a drink. Uh, there's really no way to know uh, which one is safe because they're not uh, regulated by the FDA mm -hmm. uh, and there can be a lot of interactions with other medications especially when you're talking about herbals where there's not a lot of information on some of them I would recommend that you uh, if you have a question about a particular one you contact a dietitian or you can talk to your uh, your uh, your primary care physician mm -hmm. in order to get the answers and make sure that there's not any problems with what you're taking. Absolutely. Well, David Stebbins with Martha Jefferson Hospital, thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you very much. And for additional information on vitamins and dietary supplements, visit our web channel at WCAV.TV.